Hello everyone, I'm thrilled to have you here with me today. In this video, we're going to install and configuring PFSense Firewall. But before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's start. First, I'm going to download PFSense Firewall ISO image. Open google.com and search PFSense. Open PFSense official website. Click on download. Select architecture, then install a type. Click on download. I have already downloaded the ISO file, so I can select this. Open virtualization environment. You can install PFSense as a virtual machine, or you can install on a physical server. Create a new virtual machine. Next, write the name of the virtual machine. Linux. Other Linux, 64-bit next. Select Data Store. If you plan to install PFSense on a physical server, you can skip these sections. Select PFSense ISO file and mount a CD-ROM. Add a secondary network interface. I configured this port group as a trunk to configure VLAN in PFSense. Finish. Turn on PFSense Virtual Machine. If you boot your physical server from PFSense ISO file after this section, everything is the same as a virtual machine. If you don't press anything, installation will start. Press I accept, select install, and press OK, select Auto, and press OK. Don't touch anything, and press Select. Press OK. Select your disk, and press OK. Select Yes, and press Enter. Press Reboot. OK, this is my topology. This is the trunk port and carries two VLAN, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. This interface name is System Management. As you can see, these two interfaces are my virtual interfaces connected to this virtual machine. System Management Interface's MAC address is 84.4. Wait for a few seconds. PF Sense is loading.
First step is configuring interface's IP address. Press 1 and press Enter. As you can see, EM0 MAC address ends with 84.d4 and I want to set this interface zone to LAN and EM1 to Wubby1. At this time, I don't want to configure VLAN, so press N and Enter. Write EM0. Write Y and press Enter. After assigning the interface, I have to set the interface IP address. Press 2, then Enter. Press 2 to configure LAN interface IP address. Press N to set the IP address manually. Write IP address. Write a subnet mask. If you want to set the gateway, write it. I don't use it at this time. Press Enter. I don't want to use IPv6, so press N. Press Enter. Without wire, Anything to disable IPv6, press Enter. Press N to disable the DHCP server on this interface. Press Y to enable web server on this interface. Press Enter to apply changes and continue. Now open the web browser and log in to PFSense Web Console. Default username is admin and password pfsense. This is the configuration wizard. Click on next. Write firewall, hostname and domain. Write upstream DNS server. Next. Configure NTP server and time zone. Next, don't configure one interface because I want to create a VLAN later. Don't touch the LAN interface IP address. Next, Set the admin password. Press reload to apply changes. OK, the wizard completed successfully. In my topology, I have a trunk port connected to the WAN interface. Two VLAN carriers on this trunk port, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. I will create VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 on this physical interface.
From the interface menu, click on Assignments. Click on VLANs. Add. Select Physical Interface. This is Dubby1. VLAN tag is VLAN number. Write 10. Click Save. Add VLAN 20. After creating a VLAN, I have to create a network port to these VLANs and give the IP address. Click Interface Assignment. Select one of VLANs. Add. Select another one and add. As you can see, VLAN interfaces appear under the Interface menu. Click on OPT1, Enable Interface. This is VLAN 10 Interface. Set Static IPv4. Write VLAN 10 IP Address. Save. This is VLAN 10 gateway IP address in my topology. Apply changes. Configure interface for VLAN 20. Apply changes. Let me check the network connectivity from one machine that was raised on VLAN 10. Hmm. Okay, I don't have any rules for accepting ping requests. Let's create a rule. Yes, as you can see, ICMPR packets are sent and received successfully. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts or any questions you might have. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance your friends and family will too, so don't hesitate to share it with them. Sharing is caring.